right in the mud hole. Good. That's probably the beginning of the video. Yeah, we're filming now, I think. Is it red? Is it red? Hey, yeah, it's flashing. Oh, yeah. That's the start right here. Start of the day. Sunday morning. Good morning. Good morning. She made my. Well, I'm gonna go grab you some pork rinds. Okay. She made me some food for my. Uh, we. Uh, yeah, we did. We we did at the beginning of the video, but you all won't see it till till uh, um, till we're more progress. But we started diets like three or four weeks ago. We we're on the Atkins diet, so. She made me some uh, meat roll-ups and um, fork, get me some fork rinds and stuff like that. So, anyways, we're going on trail riding today down in Berea, Kentucky. S Tree Campground is what it's called. But got everything ready to go. We're going to get on the road at 6:30. We're going to pick Eddie up, our other brother Brian and Brantley are outside. We loaded the bikes up last night, so we will uh, get going here. I'm actually running late, so we'll be back. All right, second stop. We just picked up Eddie, just loaded his bike up, put my boots in there. Truck bed getting kind of full. Four bikes and a 6x12 trailer. I turn that light back on. Still doing my right on time. I think Berea is about uh, two hours away from us, so. There you go. That's what she's looking like. What? All the running lights went off on the truck. Anyways, I guess. Oh, what's going on here? Can you even see? It's pitch black. It's all right. Oh. But we're at Eddie's house now. And it is 6.56, so... Not doing bad on time. But we'll go ahead and get out here. And probably go get some gas and stuff. There you go. Get some gas, or gas for the bikes. I filled the truck up last night and stuff, so... Should be good. So we'll probably be at the gas station next. Be right back. All right, Brian, you ready? You on your yeah. first trail ride in 30 years? Yeah. <laughs> I'm show Joe. Joe, I gotta introduce you to everybody. This is Joe. We actually, how old do you think we met? How old do you think we yeah. were? Like, well, you were like maybe 12, 13. I was yeah, about that time. eight or nine. I know I was taller than you back then. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, we've been, our dads were uh they used to uh work together and then of course that's how we met because they were buddies and we started trail riding and started talking about we're at s3 campground right now we i haven't been riding down here in in 12 or 13 years but um it's gonna be a good time i think what do you think i think so it'll be a good time so. <laughs> that's his bike he's got a 16 i think it's a 300 xcw or exc uh, or XC, model. xc okay you got 300 XC, and then you guys already saw all our bikes so I finished getting ready. I'm holding everybody up. I'm gonna take off. All right, we're doing a voiceover. We haven't done a voiceover in how long, Amy? Since the train horn prank? Long time. Probably since the train horn prank. Probably eight years ago. But the first picture here you see, that's the back of me with the chest protector. And then there's a group um, of all of our other buddies over there. Believe it or not, the bike right to the right of me, that's Trey's YZ252 stroke. You remember we gave his other, his new YZ252 stroke away a year ago on the belllife.com. But anyways, that's his bike. And I can't really, Trey's sitting down over there in that crowd, but we'll go to the next picture and see, see who's in that one real quick. And then, um, it's pretty cool. Joe sent me these. Okay, pause it. So there's uh, Joe to the left, the, the guy you, you, you just saw with the red chest protector on. You see the back of me, the bald guy right to the right, that's dad. He's looked the same for about 45 years. And I, th I can't tell, but it looks like one of our other buddies, Daniel, above my dad's head. But standing in between me and Joe is Trey. That's Trey with his camel back on, his riding pants. And then I think that's our other buddy, uh, Randy, um, that down there on squ squatting on the ground. But we'll go to the next picture. We're doing this in real time. Okay, this is a uh, dirt bike race. And the guy right in the center with the jersey on that says Moose with the headlight on the dirt. He's sitting on a dirt bike. That's our other brother, brother Eddie. That's Garen's dad. And the guy right to the left of him with the yellow chest protector on, that's our cousin Grant. He actually rode dirt bikes for a while too. Um, it's my mom's sister's son. And then the guy in the hoodie, 
uh, facing away from us. That's our dad again. And then there's Trey um, right to the left again. So we go to the next picture. All right, obviously, that's me. That's the top dog. Um, how old do you think I was there? In sixth grade or seventh grade or something? Probably. Probably like 12 or something like that, but that's our old trailer we used to have. Me and Eddie were talking about that. We had a checkered, checkered flag uh, floor, but that's obviously after a ride or a race or something. But Okay, and here it is. That's Joe and Joe's dad, Jim, right there next to each other and me. So that's about when me and him met. I'm not sure what year that is, but you can tell we're... And then, that, then the last picture right here is me and Joe. So we got some serious history together. We've been riding on these trails for... For years and like i said uh the clips that are coming up the gopro kept messing up at the beginning but eventually there's some pr pretty cool footage in there for you all to watch so stay tuned It said it stopped recording because it ran out of battery and it's got 84%. GoPros aggravate the crap out of me. All right, we're good. I don't know if we got Brian's crash on camera or not. I was hoping that was gonna be I the beginning of. More, so. You should have let out. You should have heard the moan he let out. Well, I should have warned you, man. Like, <laughs> no, I'm just I kidding. Up the GoPros a lot because I ride so fast and <laughs> keep up like the tracking on it. So. Don't know. Yeah. It's I recording. guess the I guess the cold weather's freaking out or something. All right. What's recording? It definitely don't look steep on camera, that's for sure. Trying to find a trail down in this creek down here. A little trailblazer. Yeah, just get on your back brake as soon as you start rolling. There you go. Now let her roll. Let her roll. Roll. It looks like it keeps going, Justin. Yeah, I mean, we, we might be able to get down the creek. It's going to get radical for a second. Yeah, it's been radical. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we can make it down through there. The problem we're we're kind of committed now, you know what I mean? We are definitely committed. We're not going back up. Yeah, now. we can't. There's no way. Me and Brantley are committed. We'll see y'all back at the truck. <laughs> well, it looks like it was a nice trail one time went that way. Down that creek? Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple trees down down there, but uh, but I think we can squeeze around them hopefully. Yeah. Brantley, I guess uh, 
probably start your bike up and go right because everybody's gonna and then just sit over there until you know what i mean we start heading back down because they're going to come down right behind you it's deeper than crap i don't know who next is put my helmet back i want to keep holding the helmet like i'm holding the camera I think we can get down through there, but we definitely can't go back up. Oh, I, I probably could have went down there. But... See, it's a little steeper on this side. Yeah. That but, rut, dude. But yeah. this is a, I mean, oh, oh there's no God. getting back up through there. We're in the middle of the boonies. That rut was freaking deep. I know. That's why I say you do too much front brake on that, you flip over the bars. Look how steep that hill climb is. That thing is just big. <laughs> you are not letting off that whole time. All the way. There's your run up. You're starting in the creek. You ain't got no run. <laughs> I don't know if that one would be possible. Yeah, you got those pretty big balls. <laughs> I guess we'll wait on the next one.
You in that mud hole? Me and Eddie I, both fell in the same spot. I almost went in it. Huh? I almost went in that hole big time. We both laid on the side of the hole. Ugh. This is this is perfect through here. Dirt's just perfect, ain't it? Oh, this is awesome, yeah. Where's Brian at? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's hung on his swing arm. Got it? Yeah, I know, I know there's so many more single track trails around this whole place. I mean, oh, yeah, there's got to be. Randy probably knows where every one of them are. Randy? Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting involved. Is he still doing anything with the Renfro Valley? Or? Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. Is there, is there a camera? Is there a mud on that camera? It's red. Wait. It's red. Is it really?
Back to the pool hole. Pool hole, yep. Okay. Where are we? Used to come in right there all the time. That thing's still flashing, really? Huh? That thing's still flashing? Yeah, you're going. I'm trying to. Need to go to the right up here, not the center. Get her turned around here. Yeah, slick, buddy. Slide down the hill. Oh, it's wet. Huh. It's wet up here. Get her turned around. I failed. I suck. Yeah. Crappiest part about all this. There's a big tree down at the top. All right. There's a big tree down at the top. Huh? There's a big tree at the top. Yeah, we can't get over it. It's like four foot in diameter. Oh, we're too old. can do it. I don't know if you can see my marks, but I made it like this look. Yeah, if you go to the right, it sends you right back into that same rut and it's wet and then there's a log at the top. I didn't mean so very. I was like five feet from it. No, no, I'm worn out. All right. Bike sounds good. Does it? Oh, yeah, both of them. Maybe if you trailblaze or something, but the daggone that water's coming down the hill. There's there's mud in the rut, and then at the top there's that big tree. Yeah, if you can get in the right rut, if it doesn't kick you back over in that left rut, you might be able to make it over that first ledge and then just turn around up there. You can't make it to the very top because of the tree, but you can make it past that ledge where I was at.
Good. That's probably the beginning of the video. Yeah, we're filming now, I think. Is it red? Is it red? Hey, yeah, it's flashing. Oh, yeah. That's the start right here. Start of the day. <laughs> when in hey, when in doubt, just pin it and lean back. That's a intermediate rock section right there. That going is that way we went, some big old ball. Well, I guess I'm gonna bend the rim or something here. Yeah, this way is probably easier the way you were going. There's a hill up there. Where at? Almost. We're gonna have to get to your recluse. back brian's i don't know if we told y'all or not but that's brian's trailer so he's hooking the trailer back up we dropped eddie off at his house and got the bikes unloaded back here with the baby and amy brian was getting ready to take his bike home Blake, what do you think all right had to switch to the iphone because the gopro keeps dying driving me nuts but we uh don't have any damage from today. I think the only damage it took was right there in the arm. Not bad. But, um, of course, this is when the fun part starts. All the washing crap. But, tell you what. I don't know if I said at the beginning of the video, but uh, Ride Work Suspension. Right there, he's over in Milford, Ohio. Uh, he did the suspension on this bike. I think I said it. And it's set up now. So, this bike was set up for like 150, 160 pound rider. And I'm, uh, well, today I got on scale, I'm 250 right now, today. So when I dropped it off two weeks ago, I was 264. So I've lost, I don't know, whatever that is, 14 pounds in two weeks. I'm going to try to get down to about 240, 235 maybe. I don't know, just to try to lean out a little bit for the summer. But um, he set the suspension up for about a 250-pound rider with all my gear on. So riding boots and helmet and all that stuff. And um night and day difference night and day difference so it was 
absolutely perfect. The bike's perfect. It's ready to, well, not ready to race yet, but so today was probably a little bit confusing because, um, Joe, uh, was, we were trying to look for some of the old, uh, single track stuff. So some of the old trails from years ago, we rode as kids, we were trying to find and we couldn't find it. So we just got back on the, uh, it's the S tree walking trail, um, in McKee, Kentucky that goes from S tree to uh, Turkey foot. So we rode from S tree, which to Turkey foot, which is about 10 miles to a blacktop road and then turned around and rode back. And then along with all the trailblazing and trying to find those old trails, we probably rode, I don't know, maybe 30, 35 miles today. So technically that's about what you do in a race. You know, you, you, you know, a, a lap's normally about eight to 10 miles and you do about, you know, three to four laps or whatever. Um, so all in all, it was a good day. Um, and hopefully Joe actually said, uh, he's got some, uh, photo albums at his house. He's going to get home and take some pictures with his phone and send them to me. Um, of us when we were kids riding, when we met, I don't, I introduced you all and showed you him at the beginning. So if we find those, if he sends those, hopefully we can put them in the video and show you that. So that's pretty cool. How long I've known him. So been a long time. I, I'm not, I can't remember what age we met, but it's been a while. So, uh, really good time. The, um, tell you one thing is pretty impressive. Old, old, uh, Brantley. So I was telling him, um, the way he was riding in front of me a couple of times today, if he rode that speed the whole time for a race, he'd get top 20 overall in the IXCR. So he's definitely getting faster. So I'm gonna have to lose some weight and get faster myself. Or I'm going to get passed by a, a, um, 14 year old. So we can't let that happen. But anyways, it was a great, anyways, it was a great day. It is, 8 30 so we've been gone a while uh amy and the baby are in the shower right now i'm gonna get cleaned up and we're actually gonna go over to dad's house and um look at the gopro footage from today that you all are you've already watched or whatever you already saw it so we haven't i haven't seen it yet so anyways thank you all a ton um hopefully you like these style videos we're gonna try to go on some more trail rides um this uh here in the next few weeks um so leave a comment down below if you liked it Leave a comment, comment down below if you didn't like it. But um, thank you all. Subscribe here. Subscribe to the Bell Life Bangs. Subscribe to Ask the Bell Life. And then check us out on thebelllife.com where we still upload three days a week of hitting each other with sticks. Uh, what do we do? We took uh, that palm sander right there to my right leg. Um, the crazier the stuff you can think is what we do on thebelllife.com. So appreciate you all. And... Uh, We'll see you on the next one.